Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In the sixth part of this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to add audio to the video content that you're editing. So there's an audio tab up here on Magic's Editor Pro and when I click on that audio tab it will take me through to the store where I can purchase some audio. There's some free examples here so you can download some free audio and there's some other types of music here you can go through and browse and have a look and see if there's anything you like. Um, but in this case I already have some audio myself that I want to use this particular audio track here and when we click the play button you'll see there's already some audio playing on this intro and I want to mute that audio so the way to do that is to click on the actual video content so it can be any of your video content and let me zoom in here a little bit I'm going to zoom in and when I click on this there's this little icon that appears just here where my mouse cursor is and if I left click I can drag all the way down and that will mute the audio on this particular video clip so I'm just going to zoom back out again if I click play we can hear no audio now so that's what we wanted we wanted to mute the audio here because we're going to replace that audio with some other music track so I'm going to take this music track and drag and drop it below the video content here so this is like a second slot for the audio to play and we we'll click the play button and now we can hear the new music track playing and this music track is too long for the content so we're going to click on the music track and we're going to drag across on the timeline to just after the transition around here let's say about here just after the transition about here and then we're going to make sure the audio track is selected you'll know it's selected because it highlights yellow and we're going to click the cut tool here split object we're going to have the green section here and the rest of the audio here. We're going to select this part and delete it. Press the, the uh, delete key on your keyboard. Now we've got the audio track cut to the right length. We want to fade it in and fade it out. When we move our mouse cursor, I'm just going to zoom in a bit here. When we move our mouse cursor over this audio track, there's a, there's a little dot here on the right hand side and one also on the left hand side. So if we drag this across, basically what that's doing is making the audio fade out so we're going to fade it out from about this position here and on this side we're going to drag it in a little bit to fade it in if we click the play button one more time hi and welcome to this we need to move to the end of the, the beginning of the timeline so there's two ways we can move to the beginning we can either drag the cursor back or we can click this button here which will jump to the beginning of the movie so let's click that and that will move that orange timeline to here we we'll click the play button and we probably want that to fade out a bit more or fade in a bit more something like that and the audio is a bit loud so we're going to click here and drag it down a little bit to reduce the volume say to something like this Hi and welcome. So here you can see the audio fading in, playing, we reduce the volume and it goes to the end and then it fades out and then you can hear me speaking about the, the actual to, uh, video tutorial here. So that's how you add custom audio to your videos and you can add them and apply them along the timeline at different positions. So I could create another audio track and add it at the end here. It's entirely up to you what you want to do there. So have fun adding audio to your video content. Okay, I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.